Welcome to the Age of Aries, Age of Aries. I'm not supposed to say Aries, sorry, uh, but it's, it's fitting into the song. So, you know, the Age of Aries uh, was when, my guess is Abraham maybe, because we, we like to... <laughs> we are making personas out of actually time periods uh, in the Bible, in the Mesopotamian texts and all this kind of stuff. So the age of Aries, when was that? Well, that was just before Jesus was born. So you get it? The lamb, the fish, all that kind of stuff. The entire Bible is based on astrology. So yeah, Aries, welcome to my channel. I'm Raven from south of Norway. And this will be your read, full moon read. So what's coming in for Aries? Let's see what's going on. Let's hope you, you, the, <laughs> you get better news than, than the Leos because you know, I feel horrible to upload it, but sometimes, you know, if you see some shitty things happen, maybe you should just poke someone on the shoulder and make them aware of that they have some shit on their shoe. Uh, I wouldn't be a good friend if otherwise, would we? So you have the Hierophant and you have the world. So the Hierophant, that's a pretty awesome opening. That's the guru, that's the teacher, that's someone who is very conventional, who likes to follow traditions. However, someone else wants to break those traditions and travel the world, but you can't. So maybe someone are holding you back. I don't know if this is a relationship or not. So six of wands, there is, uh, a, a, there is a conflict here that makes it difficult to have a victory in a situation. So the past here, well, what you know, you have the devil here. All the temptations that can pop up in one, <laughs> during one table read. Well, the devil is in your past. We have cigarettes, we have drugs, we have cake, we have space cake. We have everything that can destroy and harm your body. Everything that feels good, but everything that kills you fast and slowly. So what's going on here? It does affect what was happening in the recent past. Well, it seems to me like the devil have a, a little omen going on here. So the six of coins is all about manifestation the power to manifest so so you see here there is still temptation here and there is still someone behind that temptation because someone are creating the matrix so basically here if you can explain to me where you see the cube in this picture i'll give you an extended read okay six of coins that's the hexagram okay so this says that you have the able to manifest, but Aries, you're, this, this really is full of temptations. Cookies, you know, prostitutes, cakes, you know, what, whatever. And, and then there is someone in between here, the Hierophant, the male priest, the guru who is an ascetic. So something here is colliding, uh, Aries. And what do you know, we have a naughty little fucker here who are snooping around and checking what's going on. This this little kid could be someone who is going on your nerve. Uh, but usually we say that someone are watching you. Whatever move you make, they are watching you, Aries. Checking up on your social profile. Whatever you up to, right? You could, you know, I get that some of you also might have a family where two people are of perhaps opposite religion, opposite cultures, opposite mindsets, and they collide. But there is someone here who could be very, very ascetic and someone here who are the complete opposite. And those two energies, they can actually exist within you. So a possible outcome from this is that you have a soulmate. So you should check out the Leo read. There is a lot of Scorpio vibe there, but the, the <laughs> Leo also have a soulmate that might return to them. And well, it looks to me that tastes a lot better than those six of coins there given to you by the devil. So this is Scorpio energy. This is looking to the past, reminiscing, 
uh, so someone from the past might show up so here we have the king of wands basically the leo at his best not doing shit but smart enough to build this little thing here that will do all the shitty work for him well he is in his couch like the king he is however just like in the leo read he's also showing up in reverse basically being a jerk an asshole the, the the people you do not want to hang out with so <laughs> right now you do have a wish fulfillment maybe you are in love uh, i don't know but if you don't feel you have your wish fulfillment ask yourself are you grateful are you grateful is it something that you have that you take for granted that you really really shouldn't have or maybe something is right around the corner for you coming in as a wish fulfillment it's it's popping up right beside the this this scorpy vibe here so we have taurus here we have a, a, an air sign here maybe an airhead so we also do have there, there is a little bit earth here the devil is capricorn so you could be dealing with pretty much anyone anything so your challenge here is another child i know aries you're very good with children so are leo and but but these these kids they need spank so this page of coins might bring some news to you that has to do with well i i don't really have the the columns first house second house or anything like that but they might bring some news to you something that is challenging for you to perhaps absorb to sorry about that I, I am in the middle of Bangkok so it could be a physical child that is literally challenging you Aries or it, it, it can be simply Uh, well, let's check the outcome. I don't want to overthink things. Not anyway. So the outcome here is a hunky, funky, sexy Scorpio for you. Uh -huh. No Scorpios and Aries. You know, you we are best friends. But when it comes to relationship, it can be rather challenging. <laughs> but we are ruled by the same side. We do have fun together. But when it comes to love and relationship, uh, Scorpios and, and Aries are ticking a little bit different. Let's so let's just say so. So we have three of one says someone is expecting you, someone are waiting for you to come in. And then we have Ace of Wands in reverse. So whoever is waiting for you, if it's a sexy bitch, then perhaps you should bring them a little bit Viagra because there is no passion here. Someone are waiting here. Well, the other one is not that into whatever is going on here, basically. So we also have two of coins here. Someone might have more than one job, two jobs, three jobs, four jobs, who knows? So someone claimed that this is a twin flame card. I'm not sure I picked up any twin flame energy here, but a big family with lots of noisy kids and lots of temptations and kids who are playing with dangerous, yeah, sharp things. So someone here juggling with a coin. So what you do not see that might come in out of the blue is the knight of coins so if you are dating someone uh, let's say an earth sign and you think they are taking a little bit too long time aries i know a, a real aries you're impatient and you have my feeling i have mars in gemini and Gemini rising with Mars in first house so I know everything about being impatient I can write a book about being impatient but this one is taking very very long time but when you catch this fish he's there to stay and to take care of you and do the lawn and whatever you want in life so there might be some bitches and hoes she might be up against <laughs> and that uh, you know that that's don't want your the best of interest but the cards here actually advises you to make a choice between two possible candidates here between sagittarius and between 
Knight of Wands, which is another Sagittarius, but you know what you know. So one is very elevated, the other one is a little bit young at mine, in and out, doesn't want to settle down. So, uh, you know, you could be, if this is a love story, then, uh, then really you do, Aries, have a lot of options. So I see also here that some of you might get lucky when it comes to the coin. If you're doing some business, you might get a good business idea, which leads to someone wanting to meet, wanting to commit on a higher level, uh, level which is called King of Coins. So, what do you know? Who someone went from Knight of Coins to King of Coins just in a second. So, whatever you have going on for you, some Samaram. Uh, Aries, uh, it's looking good. It's looking like a little bit chaotic, but it's looking good. So your advice is believe in the impossible. So happy good full moon and I wish you the best of luck. Love you very much Aries and catch you on the flip side.